Sam Lafeshano coin. Amen. Christ Amen. Well, same case, Pama Jesus. I want for Samba. Hey, I said, one of why did say? Hallelujah. And that when young Copon was sick, you believe. And that when young Copon was sick. What my young one, Denny, now watch a young one. Na what do ye? Na what's an idea? Bishop Mubimo. Yet that when young Copon so as he be say, or dear Papa so I be do as we dream of Amen. Yeah, and that when young Copon say, dear Papa be do as we dream of. Thank God so much. Yet that when young Copon was it. I will, and your mark is here, is here, is here, or yeah, or yeah, Papa, and yeah, Mammy Abrabomo. You say. I can say, Paddy, get it. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, and then Uncle Pomasi. So we, we've been talking about the grace of God. The grace of God. We started a series on the grace of God. And we've been talking about the definitions of the grace of God. We've mentioned so many definitions of the grace. Of God, about 11 of them. So um, it's only appropriate that we try to remind ourselves a little and send a bit to us from there. And see, one of the definitions, one of the definitions of the grace of God, yeah. So grace is unmerited favor. Grace is unmerited favor. That is the commonest definition. Yes, what else? Grace is unmerited favor of God. So when God gives you favor. So God's approval in and recommendation, God's approval and recommendation. Uh huh. Then it was so. At the gate of human opposition, God's approval and recommendation at the gate of human opposition. So, human opposition. Mate, how about Bible teaching, sir? Eh, 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 Yes, Mati. Definition of grace. And when I say I did with phone, so. <laughs> yes, Mati. And then in your. Yes, Kojo. So the mystery that makes a sinner to become a saint. So, without the grace of God, nobody can be saved. It is the grace of God that helps sinners, that converts sinners. Obi awe kuni pa, obi awe din semone, obi a boni e koso asasi suwe ni na no, ni din kahubi. 
You know, that person can change or that person can become a saint in a twinkle of an eye, whether you believe it or not, because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Now, there was a guy called um, Atai. One name Atai. One at in Indinda. Are you there? Are you there? Are you I'm robber. Hardened criminal. Or no, I'm not the case. Or the book. No, no. Or Korea. Yeah, that's the police. It's just now. No more bitch now. They don't count one pen. No, I'm The day I'm more chill. No, no. Na a grow. A she she she. No. I mean, him the year yeah. Sad than the year. A grow the feeling. No. A grow the feeling. No. Um. There was a series they were showing on TV. Ah. There are people, I'm Robert, no more quadrier grow into intimacy or more. And a police in the back also, or no so quadrier grow to be. It's your own dear, I'm Robert now, or my dear grow no so, or no so quadrier grow so the betchum. See, only a grow nature one year. See, or betchua no day, a grow nature one year, Eddie Nature, Abba. You know, a tie ye, I didn't grow. See, I say, I'm robbery. Pa, I'm Korea Bank. I'm Korea Way. I'm called Baby Sika. I see how I wanna attack him. Then they caught him and sent him, sentenced him to so many years imprisonment. Now attack him at prison. Now attack him is an elder in the Church of Pentecost. Oh, prison hall. See, very powerful anointed man of God. Oh, prison. So I won't say any such thing. Okay. Until say one friend, I mean, no kumwa, who come from same gym, but was sacra. Only an elder. And they talk about how he's so committed in in the prison when it comes to church and everything. Obey, I'm sorry, on obey, on no be preachy, on obey, say, hey, atai ye timi a sacra. Atai. And what will make a sinner like that? Somebody that everybody thinks, say, wait here. Anka, I sorry them couldn't deserve it so be koho. Anna, hey, obi ya uti mi kunipa, uti mi real bank, uti mi real way. Now what you say at aya about area krampa obi ya koshe them, obi ya. Then all of a sudden, this person has been converted from being a sinner, and he's a saint because he believes in Jesus now, and he's talking about Jesus. He's behaving like Jesus. He's a saint. So. What would make somebody like that now move from the darkness into the light? It is the grace of God. Hallelujah. It is the grace of God. So the grace of God is a mystery that converts sinners into sins. Sinners. Then all of a sudden, then Jesus says, I have appointed this one. Wow. The same, a similar story happened with Saul. You, you remember the story of Saul? Yeah. That guy was a very dangerous guy. And yet, even baby or two, the baby or two, or no baby or one, or another town, another city. In Tisanka, or ye, or ye, arm robber, or ye, international arm robber. Wicked man, international wicked man. As someone in front of him, or could you won't let us say, Monsuma Mimeko. They are very stubborn demons and spirits, sir. Sometimes, no. As someone in front of him, eh? As you be into me, yeah, me the bit me, I am Mamma and Koyambra. Adiana, I have also no okay in the crown, put Nippani in the Bussini or say Maye. Those ones are very stubborn demons and spirits. That is the kind of demon that was operating in Saul. Or say Makodi letters. Intimate may Kochi or be a Mehuni say or Sum or Bokis to Dino, the number two if you ask him. So he was on his way, he was on a journey. Then we do Damascus and I used to yin where the children are. Then, O ye know where the children are in, or say, Oh, my friend, ah, O be an unquan so cock cheer crystal for no friend say, Who say, and shut down, Fasu, Anna, 
Se ni pa ni pa fe mu dia ko ni pot sa dia se Jesu fre no. And there were people in church. I'm on for kwa sorry, I'm on for bomb paye. I'm on for ye all the services nya dia nti Yankopo ehu obi a amongst them. Ko pim se oni pa o ye so stop one no ye wicked. Obi o kwa kwachi e Kristo fu agum o se ona wa fre no. Aden. But Yankopo adwen na dwen ti se ni pa dwen. So on my on my friend, and then when you fry and I say on course of four and any so, bomb pie man and any so better no. We are on some can change say my friend. Oh, this one is the grace of God. Grace located him, and God called him. The callings of God. When you come on fry or the fry ni pano, eh adum, hallelujah. But most of the time, no, you can't be free. Be a own friend or a brother. No, what's it? Hello, a brother, a brother, boni ni ne ho. And then you can't be free. No, a lot of the people that you can't be free from, or from when they were deep in their acts, deep in their acts means that say a your chrono no ba. Now if they were sent home, they were chrono no. That is when you receive a call from Jesus, from the Spirit of God. Say, oh, you, oh, yeah, German four. At the time, a German one year day. Now, for the waiting team, you know. That is when I, when I'm going to be friend. So, I have comfort, or yeah, whatever kind of sin, any kind of sin you know about. And beside a lot of people, you know, when the other day, Archbishop Angina Sayo was giving his testimony, he was a smoker, serious one. He was a drug addict. He was a drug addict. The same thing with Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. He was a drug addict. And then God called him in the midst of the act. And then God prepared him and God polished him. He calls people when they are deep in their acts, mostly. So don't, it's, not, it's not the right thing to write people off. Hallelujah. Don't write anybody off when you think the person is uh, into a particular act, in a particular sin. So you are writing the person off. Human beings will write you off. But even in that situation, God has a plan for you. Because the grace is still available. There's enough grace to save anybody who has gone deep into sin. There's enough grace. So, Saul was going to arrest the people. And then, on his way, Jesus showed up to him. No, human, human beings, most of the time, the acts of grace. And your ma, and dom ede bano, and yipan tiasye. So, when God decides to show you grace, it beats human understanding and imagination. Because, yen yanko pon peso oye no. Nipa, nipa be break on tiasye. Sometimes, we'll be all no ma. And you pay nasa we ye. But even, with that, no, God still has a plan for the person. It means that God had a plan for him. On his way, he showed up to him. Hallelujah. Now, who, who evangelized to Saul? Who spoke the word of God to Saul? Bible student. When I can't as a panoshle, so faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So who spoke the word to Saul for him to repent? Who spoke the word? Yes. Who knows the answer? Acts chapter one. Or Acts chapter 9, sorry. Yes. Acts chapter 9. Let's read from verse 5 or verse 3. Okay, so that we can have the, a clearer view of the whole thing. Verse 3, thank you. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. As he journeyed, he came near Damascus. So he was going on a journey. On, on a journey. 
And then he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. There shined round about him a light from heaven. Uh huh. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul. Verse 5. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for you to kick against the pricks. 6. And he, he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. So who spoke to Saul? Jesus. So Jesus himself spoke to Saul. Himself. Hallelujah. Now have you heard stories of people that, you know, they, they don't like Christianity. Then all of a sudden, they have a dream. They run to the pastor or they run to the man of God for help. Or have you heard of stories like that? Yes. So Jesus himself will touch the heart of the person. And the person has no option than to leave everything they are doing. That is the grace. We mentioned earlier on that the source of grace is Jesus. Adumunina, the source, ne 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 source any Yesu. Yesu ni mo adumunim. Hallelujah. Without Jesus, there is no grace. So Jesus showed up to Saul, and the guy who was a criminal, who was a hardened enemy of the church, enemy of the cross, just converted within the twinkle of an eye. Within that short period, within that short period, he asked Jesus, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? So it means that he was, at that moment, he, he, he believed Jesus. So what do you want me to do? And he said, go to the city. And then they will tell you what you must do. Hallelujah. So grace is a mystery that converts sinners into saints. Are you a saint? How many saints are here? The way you are raising your hand, you are not sure. Saints. Saint. Saint here then. How many saints are here? Okay. We thank God. So saints here they were in the summer. Sometimes people will live on earth and then when they die, we call them Saint Michael, Saint Apocrypha, Saint Luke, Saint, Saint Wilson. <laughs> Why do you call the dead someone who is not alive a saint? Why do you call that person? You know, the, when we talk about saints, a real saint or more type of saint, what I say? And they put candles and things in their room and light it and call a saint. That one is a demonic spirit. They call them saints. But in Christianity, a saint is one who has accepted Jesus. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 amen. Amen. So you don't have to die to become a saint. You don't have to do anything by works to become a saint. We are saved by grace. So grace makes us saints. So the mystery that converts a sinner into a saint is the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Now, the, the last point we mentioned last week was that all men are born equal. Do you remember? All men are born equal. What differentiates them is the grace 
of God. So, only pebia or be basa, see, so we be ano. I was a offer or basso, not oba wono. Na oba wona, and snow meets me in your asses, a basa, see, so. So, um, God has created all things already. He has, he has finished everything, including human beings. But for you to come from the realm of God to this earth, you must pass through a woman. So the woman has a channel, or the woman is a channel that converts human beings from the realms of the spirit to this physical earth. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Inti. And yet, that now my no papa shire no, and now when I'm coping yell, oh, that that why you wavy, why you nippe ye, a bony penny navy, a boy, a body, you know, ye be a body beano. The scripture says that on the sixth day, you know, boy, ye, that includes human beings. Is that correct? So, ya boy, we that that that, and yet now my no papa shire in your ball, you know, your coping ball. But for you to be able to come into this realm on earth, the earth realm, you must pass through a woman. So women are very special. Special. Amen. Don't allow anybody to mesmerize you and disrespect you. Women are very special. God himself wanted to help Adam. And he made a woman in a way that you know, he, the woman could help Adam. Now, when God said human beings should be productive, you remember what he said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. He blessed man and he said, multiply and replenish the earth. It includes a lot of blessings, including be the ability to produce. Hallelujah. Now, when God has given the ability of a man to multiply all that God has made on earth, it included human beings. Hello? Anna. So God made only Adam from the beginning. And then he gave Adam Eve. Now, God blessed Adam and said, put the scripture there, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Let me mention just one or two things and then. So God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So 27. 27. And so God created man in his image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. 28. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion. So be fruitful and multiply. So multiply everything on earth. Multiply. So your ability to multiply is... It's a blessing from God. Hallelujah. Now, how would the man multiply without the woman? So the man will not be able to multiply human beings on earth without a woman. That is why God gave the man a woman to help him. Hallelujah. Hello. There is no reproduction without women. So the man has the seed to produce. Fine. But what will help him he cannot help himself, but he needs help from a woman. So the woman was created to help the man. So the vision of the man no, is not the only thing the woman will help. But the, the woman is supposed to help the man with reproduction. Hallelujah. What do you say? I have a you know that. And yet, Oba, because it is the man that produces the seed. So the seed comes from the, the man. But as to whether the seed will be able to 
form a human being or not, you, know, you need a help meet, a helper. And the helper is the woman. So God created the man and gave him a helper for the ability to reproduce and be fruitful on earth. No, the man needs a woman. It is, it is one of the things in the olden days, no, when knowledge did not abound, a lot of men would think a macrad or munu on soon in fasso. So, by Ben may be our bed drinks, I drink it, no, it means I be man, no, the Nigan be here on Tim your massy. Because when you mature, you would understand that there are so many things a man can do alone. But when he receives the help of a woman, he goes very fast. The help of a woman. So, the channel that converts human beings from the realm of the spirit to this earth realm is in the woman. No man has that channel. So, you can have as many seeds as possible, but you need a woman to convert the seeds into human beings, into babies. Hallelujah. So now, the woman has the channel to convert babies into the, into the realms of the earth or into the physical realm. Jamaican, one at Massey. One at Jamaican, I say. Okay. And you can have two two people in the same womb, the same channel that converts people from the, the spiritual realm into the physical realm. You can have people coming throughout through the same channel. But the truth of the matter is that the level that each person of each of them would get depends on the grace the person carries. Hallelujah. That's why you have you can have siblings from the same family. In let's let's look at the scriptures. Let's go a bit into it. Romans chapter 9. Let's start from verse 10. Romans 9 verse 10. So we'll read up to about 19. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father. So it is Rebecca we are talking about. She conceived by one. Who is that one? Isaac. Is that right? By our father Isaac, who had, been, who had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. Verse 11. For the children being not yet born, listen to, listen to the scripture very carefully. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. So not of works, but of him that calleth. It means grace. Is that right? So, emofrem yenuna. I wonder. count For the children being not yet born. Neither having done any good or evil, I call that your name, Papa, your name, Bonnie, Anna. Especially your share of no more. I call that share of no more. Bonnie Ben will be to me. Papa Ben will be to me. It's a more friendly me and no share of no more. No more here, Papa, no more here, Bonnie. That the purpose of God according to election might stand. You know, the election of God, when God decides to choose a man. God does not have anything that restricts him. When Uncle Pombet me decided, he said, among all the people in that house, I have appointed one person. I have elected one person. I have taken out one. Nobody can question him. So Ubebi said, and then maybe mudi all of a sudden, a jume bi obi koye ya o feli ya obi koye ano ayi ya mano. No di God's purpose 
by election. So Nankupon decided the Obed Domino. Hallelujah. So between the two of them, Esau and Jacob, God elected one out of the two. God created both of them. But he, he, he decided to elect one. So that the purpose of God according to election might stand. So it means that if God has chosen a person, it has to stand. You cannot decide that even though God has chosen this one, as for me, I don't agree. So I will deal with the person. I will fight with him. There is no way you win. If God has appointed a man or elected a man for his purpose, there is no way you can bring him down. There is no way you can fight him. There is no way you can deal with him, in quote. And people say, ah, this guy, I'll deal with him. That guy, I'll deal with her. It is a waste of time. When God has chosen by election, according to election, my stand, not of work. So it's not because of Ejumebiya or Maye. It's not because of Adjebiya sacrifice be or Maye. What you say? The two of them no sacrifice be no Maye. How many sacrifice be? But God elected one. But of him that calleth. So not of works, but of him that calleth. Twelve. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. These are engagements in the, in the realms of the spirit. Divine arrangement. So on earth, it is the younger that serves the elder. But when divine arrangement comes in, it is the elder that to serve the younger. It is God that has elected. So, you know, in, in our <clears throat> traditional setting, we decide who is the elder according to the one who came on earth first. But by the divine election of God, God decides who should be the elder. So on earth, we can have three sisters. Four sisters, five sisters. First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. That is according to how they came on this earth. Then we say they are there. We know pain. But in the master plan of God, it is even possible that the last one is the eldest. Hallelujah. So what I say. So and yet your bar first. And yet you know you know. And he decides. It is his own will to do it. When God decides to make you the eldest, even though you are the youngest on earth, it is the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why men are born equal. Every man or woman will be born from a woman. But where you will stand is the election of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, you, don't, you don't want the grace of God. Hallelujah. So, you may be the last, but you can become first. You can become the first, even though you are last. It is the grace of God. So it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Oh God, why do you hate Esau? Esau, I have one so that's why the scripture said in the earlier verses that when they did not even know good and bad, God chose one. God loved one more than the other. So God chose Jacob. He loved Jacob. For whatever reason, it's up to him. Maybe one of these days, he will tell Becky why he loved Jacob. I will catch you or not be catch you, why? <laughs> 
Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. May God love you. Amen. I said, may God love you. Amen. So the grace of God will locate you and God will love you. When the grace of God locates you, God will love you. What did I say? Yeah. If you don't assess grace, it is possible that God can hate you. <laughs> so I, I, I wonder. When you power to as as he so, no, Nyankopo say, Esau have I hated. You are in trouble. If God hates you, does God hate anybody? <laughs> does God hate anybody? Ah, I ain't in the world scripture anymore. And any Bible name. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. So he loved somebody. But Esau have I hated. In, in Genesis chapter 4, verse 4. Genesis. You remember the story of uh, Abel and Cain when they went to give their sacrifices. You, do you remember? And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Verse 5. We'll come back to the previous one. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. And Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. Why did they all go and give an offering? And God loved the offering of one person. And God hated the offering of another person. And because of that, the Abel became a blessing. And Cain did not agree. You see? So God can decide who to elect. And no man can question him. No man. Nobody can question him. If you don't agree and you want to fight the elected of God, then it means that you want to have issues. Anybody that fights a man that is moved by grace or the, a man that is graced will be disgraced. Hello? If you, if you identify a man that is moved by grace or is moving by the grace of God, don't fight him. You will be disgraced. What did I say? <clears throat> the grace of God will disgrace you. Because you cannot fight the one God has appointed. You cannot fight a man under grace, moving by grace. One of the people are, they are very dangerous to, to try and deal with. It's a man who has grace. A man who was by grace. A woman who is under grace. Obi enya nkupu wan domino. Obi enya nkupu wan domino. Se oni ni konya asemwa. Asemwa to. What did I say? Because the person who is under grace was not appointed by himself. He didn't appoint himself. It is God that appointed him. So be careful how you deal with people, a, a man, a woman under grace. Amen. No? So, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Verse 14. Verse 14. As it is written, okay, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? So naturally, you know, when, when God says, I have loved one person and I've hated the other, then God is, un, God is an unrighteous God. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not that is unrighteousness in the face of human beings. But the scripture says, God forbid. Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. 15. Let's see the explanation to that. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So, I am a sovereign God. God is a sovereign God. You understand? The sovereignty of God permits him, say, you are no pen or ye. And nobody questions him. So, if 
the sovereignty of God is such that he can do what he wants. Obey the obey, obey to me question the dear. Then obey to me decided to obey you And nobody can question any God. So there is no unrighteousness with him. God is a righteous God. He is sovereign. Sovereign. Ain't he? Say, oh, now, who put this idea? Say, I assume I see the man, you know. Okay, who put you know? Oh, only power in a Michelano. Only power in a Mahuma Brobey can say on the show. Only power in a man don't bear can say on the show. You can't question him. Sometimes human beings question and you're in your coupon. Adia, Adia, bra, we, ye, into a ye, a ye. Kunifi as I see soon here, Hunter Yang. I have a purpose for him. Eh? <laughs> if God has a purpose for you, he keeps you. If God has a purpose for you, he does what? Oh, If God has a purpose for you, he does what? He keeps you. He preserves your life. He preserves you. No, say, when I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Say, and your botai will I'm I be and ye Sometimes you go through issues, challenges. The devil will bring issues. I will as I see as I am not the devil will entangle you. Hey. Maybe I saw you cry, the men call now, my men call. I'm a cock cry, then I see stay back, cock cry, brother, you're back again. Especially cry outside by a cry now, sister, be who knew I need to be show. Brother, be I need to be a show, a show. Say, say, me kind. Say, me kind. <laughs> but he survived it. No. I two years ago or so. Was it two years last year? Was it two years? I became so sick. I knew I was dead. Last year. Yeah, last year. I knew I was dead. Into me that whole na na me drink a year a year mo be yawa sorry. Hey say. Magi nebe organizer. Funa organizer. Eh? Na me say me say say the kids kids be di take away. Say. Somebody <laughs> say, Hey, it's a kid, but you would take away me. <laughs> you go through issues very sick by the grace of God, and God will deliver you. See, so you go through things, but the reason why God keeps you and preserves you is because He has a purpose for you. Hallelujah. What, what we go through in life, no. Say, yin yang kupon, and dum, and in the boat tire, oh my, yeah, and come in, you know, you survive it. And yin yang kupon, and dum, the reason is that there are so many people that have suffered what you suffered. People have suffered it. The sicknesses that you've gone through, no, challenges, ni issues are all one common. There are people who have suffered the same thing, they didn't survive. They didn't. Last week, one, one lady. Very, very, very pretty lady. And she was having her, 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 her menses. Menses. Or caught in Kichiri. 
Normally, she would menstruate for maybe five days, according to the story. As I, I heard it. Five days. After the YMS is uh, 10 days in Chada. 10 days. Yes, sir. It means, sir. I don't see yes, sir. 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 Hey, ten days I didn't try that. I feel your name, sir. One day no trash here. You're so no more. You're so no more. You're so no more. We didn't do hospital no more. Man says, ten days we. Ten days, man says we. We. You know, people were saying, say, oh, Ebia, on your manwa koye. Abortion, in a, in a, I, 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 then, then, then. But they did the test. The pregnancy was negative, so she wasn't pregnant. It was her menses. We trash it. We also obi wa no ma. Ono so ni dieti mi basa forty days. Me go so ba. But we wu oti asi. Ten days pe we wu. The woman in the Scriptures, John 5. Bible says, nah, we get to know for continuously for 12 years. 12 years. We'll be 10 days, but we 12 years. On us, who come yes, you are. Or so, Natalia, no pe And I'm not all. So he says, he's, he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I'll have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I'll have compassion. So you cannot tell me who to, I should have compassion on and who I shouldn't have compassion on. That is what God is saying. I decide who I want to have compassion on. 16. 16. For then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. So it is God. Hallelujah. It is God that will give you grace. It is God that will give you mercy. Show mercy. It is God that will show you favor. It is God that showeth mercy. 17. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, that I have raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. 18. We are reading to 19. Therefore has he mercy on whom he will have mercy. And when he will have, and when whom he will harden. So it means that it is God that hardened the heart of Pharaoh so that he will destroy him. Do you understand that? So God can harden the heart of a, a particular person if he wants to destroy him. If God wants to destroy somebody, he will harden the person's heart. People who, whose hearts are hardened against leaders and authorities. When your heart is hardened against an authority, against a leader, the leader with you, when you need to share that, when you are crying, when you need to go say, when you are crying, say, say. Then you try to do everything possible to, to put the leader into a situation. And you know what? God hardened the heart of Pharaoh so that he might destroy him. The same thing happened with Hophni and Phinehas. Hophni, the sons of Eli. Bible says that when they were misbehaving in the church and they were advised, they did not heed to the advice because God wanted to destroy them. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is a come prim and no interest away a guy. A come prim and chess, oh dear, 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 oh
It is because you are in line for distraction. Distraction. The can be a Pharaoh son tea or you saw your hidden tear. No, no, he said. No, you can't go on a set that prim na kuma. You can't go on a man, I say, say the bear will be destroyed. And that is the reason why when he allowed the Israelites to go, and then he decided to say, Makume Primunti, me momunko, I am following them, me tiomo. And then his, he, he himself, his people, they all destro- they got destroyed in the Red Sea. They were destroyed. Tanka Nakume Prima, and Kobet Nasi. I do understand. Ain't he, man, man, she saw a guy by Wakume Prim. He bapa was a man. You'll be able to be a minty. Meaning me in the blue. You are in line for distraction. Mm. <laughs> Last verse, verse 19. Thou will say then unto me, Why doth he find fault? For who has resisted his will? So the will of God cannot be resisted. The will of God cannot be resisted. So from this one that you have read, it means that you may have the same children from the same womb, but God will show mercy may decide to show mercy to one of them, to two of them, to three of them. God can also decide to show mercy to all of them. Uh, Hallelujah. God does not always choose one person. He will choose several people. He will choose a leader. He will choose the followers. So normally not one. He may choose several people. So God decides who he wants to choose. Who he wants to be the leader, it is God that decides. If you are not supposed to be the leader and you force yourself to be the leader, you will not succeed because you don't have the grace for it. So when God elects a man in a particular dimension, he gives him a, a, a dimension of grace that will sustain him. Amen. So when you say, when well, now yeah, praise ministry leader, he will give you grace that will sustain you. And therefore, if anybody tries to fight you, then the person has God to contend with. Understand these things. It makes life easier. Understand where you are supposed to be. It makes life easier. So if you understand the call of God, if you understand it, you don't worry yourself about people. You don't envy other people. Just, just manage in your area of calling, in your great, the grace, dimension of grace God has given to you. Don't envy any man. Say the other day when... John the Baptist. John the Baptist was the, on earth, he was the spiritual father of Jesus. Are you aware? Hello? John the Baptist was the spiritual father of Jesus. Sanity. Why? I didn't see this, sir. Oh, yeah, then. I didn't know the spiritual father of Jesus. So, on no, on no introducing Jesus' ministry. Then, be so he's the one who baptized Jesus. Again, <laughs> you have done well. Maybe this the other day, maybe some more Bible school. How many times answer? How many times answer? And see, so our question no, a a pending our Bible school. It's good you are answering it here. So John the Baptist introduced the ministry of Jesus. Most of the time, no, the one who introduces you, your ministry, is your spiritual father. Hallelujah. Yes, don't, don't, don't waste your time or don't, don't be too harsh. Don't be too quick to introduce yourself. Wait for the introduction from your spiritual father. When your spiritual father introduces you, it paves the way for you. And it gives you covering. Hallelujah. There are a lot of people, they've not been introduced, but they, they think they can, they can do ministry just like that. Even Jesus Christ was introduced by John the Baptist. And then he, John the Baptist baptized him. So it was because the people knew John the Baptist as a preacher of the word. So when he introduced Jesus, people accepted Jesus as a preacher as well. Hallelujah. So introduction brings acceptance. So the introduction of Jesus by John the Baptist you know, helped people to accept him. If you have not been introduced, it's not easy for people to accept you. Say, oh, oh spiritual father, and I will leader that introduce you here. 
Now, I'll try to obey you on your own. You struggle. Jamie can one is massive. Yeah. So, when John the Baptist introduced Jesus, and the people were coming to Jesus now after there because of the miracles. Now the people were coming to Jesus more than John the Baptist. And uh, John the Baptist, the, the young pastors, no, back up, no, but John the Baptist, no, say ah, ah, eja, oh, who they are crossing? They say cry and confirm by having a moment near the Jesus Christ. It's possible to to have a bigger church than your spiritual father. It is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. But you should understand that. <laughs> it is okay to have a bigger church, a bigger ministry than your spiritual father. It is okay. Hello. Bring your minds here. But... The fact that you have a bigger church than your father does not make you bigger than him. Hello? It does not make you... So you may have something more than your father, but it's not, it's not the recipe for you to identify yourself as a bigger person than your father. Then John the Baptist said, let him increase so that I may decrease. He can go on. I didn't hear. Because a man can do nothing unless it is given to him from above. If it is not given for, to him from heaven, he can do nothing. Hallelujah. So, it is okay if God has given grace to somebody to excel. Don't fight him. Don't, don't argue with him. Don't envy any man. Understand your call. Your, your call, Wankasa. say ye. You don't, you don't fight anybody. Hallelujah. You don't fight the will of God. The will of God says that the one who should lead is that small boy. If that is the will of God, the will of God will stand. If you fight it, you are fighting your own destiny. Hallelujah. So, that is what the scripture says. Two people can be born from the same mother, father. But God may decide to elect one. In Psalm 75, Psalm 75, verse 5 and 7, or 5 to 7. Let's read from verse 5. Psalm 75. Let's backtrack the point. Then we close from here. Thank you. Lift not up your horn on high. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Verse 6. For promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. So promotion does not come from the north, from the east, from the south. So promotion comes from nowhere. Uh -huh. Verse 7. But God is the judge. He puts one down and sets up another. So when God wants to promote you, he will promote you. Hallelujah. The promotion of God. See, so the promotion will not come from the east or the north or the south. But it is God that will judge and promote each man. So God is the judge. So God will decide who he wants to promote. Yeah, it's here. Anybody who will watch. God is the one who promotes people. Don't fight the promotion of people. Hallelujah. You know, if God has promoted Ura uh, and you decide to say, I didn't know I was going to promote him. I was going to say, I didn't know I was going to promote him. And he has decided to promote him. What is your issue? <laughs> what is it? So if you start fighting him and start saying things and start backbiting him and doing all things, you are not fighting him, but you are fighting the one who promoted him. No man will fight God and win. 
Question? Okay, yes. I know harnessing. <laughs> I know harnessing. But <laughs> how? Uh, 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 No, it be grandpa now. I know, I don't know, I don't know. We need an coupon for trading and so. So there, are, there are things at home. There are things that we worry ourselves. Keke. We worry ourselves. Once God has blessed him. It means that there is enough for your when your time comes, God will bless you. Anna, when you are coming, you should not be back up. No, because what they are moving to me, they may be. So God can decide to bless one man at at another time. He blesses another. Hallelujah. You don't know. Sometimes the will of God cannot be understood by men. See, sometimes we say, "Oh, dream, you may be more." You begin to question God. We be waiting at your wedding. No, what's now why yes is uh for years, no on way. Obisu all no ma or Jesus. Then you ask God say, ah, then you cook on cry and yes. What I say? Eh? Obi um na when was that last two weeks? And I say um, cluster of schools be what Tesano. And a and Colani Gusu Jagos are no mote say a colleague is who on school next year. That I can see bro. Obi the baby at a box mo and he sent to Mago and I say, you know, then I be see got an anno. No, I show me Dean a Colani Dean or paper so no, that too. Fresh baby, I have one. No way, not the number two. See, one, one woman who almost interviewed and said, Oh, I'm calling we and come a back. I'm coming a you, me pebe. But bless a more and a joke or danda. In a only a bit. Obviously, call night club. No, I'm bro into Bema Crown, you may die a crown, you may cry when you know. And so, you see that? I'll have mercy on whom I'll have mercy. Then you question God, say, Ah, then, there was a banner, sir. And then, on the moment, oh, here, you know, on the moment, I hear, and you know, you know, so I call all night, a bomb pie, a yes, a yes, and you know, and you know, train. It's not, it does not mean God has denied you, but was a train, train make a crack. So, in, in our human minds, it does not make sense. Anna, it's not appropriate. Yes, sir. That is why the, script, the previous scripture said, does it mean God is unrighteous? God forbid. He has the will to do what he wants. So, God will decide to bless a man. What do you want to ask you? I call you Empire crumb, empire crab. Cassie and the bomb pie crumb, a booby. And so, no moment, a beer, it looks as you said, Nanko Punchana. You can't question God. You can't question God. Now, sometimes, no, Nanko Ponche, a coma, and son of the Islamite. What I say? There are so many people that say Nanko Ponish, I can see the manner, Ninam is some crabbers. And I just saw the Previously, there were people who were punctual. 
for teaching service. So ask yourself, what has happened? When you ask them, they will give the excuse of Adam. It is the woman you have given to me. The woman that is supposed to be a blessing to you and supposed to be a helper to you. I say, your banner are the man. So some people say, yeah, yeah, it's not particularly you are the man. I'm saying, the man is saying, you blame me yet. Pepe soup, man. Pepe soup, no. Me, you are not the answer. Hey, then you also. Oh, baby, car. Pepe soup. The man is saying, me, you pepper soup, man. Would you be saying, for me, be the reason why sometimes we don't come to church? So, let me boss a member of Sunday. A quiet Juma man point. So, 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 so many excuses. In the idea, Nanka was a bear and more mono, I figure no more true with Finamense. In the Uncle Porsche, I said that my mint from a book. Oh, my dear kind of mom, first, no. Oh, my mommy excuses, sir, my mint from a book. So, set your heart right. When you set your heart right, you position yourself for the appointment of God. Hallelujah. You make an answer, say. You can make it a point, say. And found it in Yankupon, the bed don't make Yankupon sure to be slamming. Say, there may be any demean died that. If you set your mind and your heart aright in that direction, then God will test you with a little blessing and see. A lot of the blessings we have, they are the, the smallest kind of blessings God wants to give to us. Into all the, all the, all the other kind of Kakrebia Manoashe. Then we see, say, say, Kesia in the bar. But Ketua never ban a crampo, no. We don't control it. So now, I have my soul, any, won't mean Kanasem Krebin. Can people, when they get blessed, won't mean Kanasem? Won't mean. Won't mean Kubisa Nasem. Won't mean Kokanchen Sem. Masa, I did with it. Damn you. Oh, yeah, why? If you so, I swear, no, I'm going to say, I swear, I'm going to say, I didn't hear. When you have some small coins on a bank account, you see, it's me bonnet and tars no way you be a man. You can be a alpha. Now, evening service, grandpa, prophecy, amen, deliverance, amen, and number two, and a wedding. So, set your heart right. Your wife, Jane, and our coma say, now, who push let me do him, grandpa? I still remain faithful. I'll still, I'll still come for Bible teachings. So Bible teachings are very difficult to come, Anna. They're very difficult. Very difficult to come. Are they? Prophetic in him. Deliverance in him. You're about crying. You're not crying. So they're in the bliss. And you only the scriptures and the... I don't know. It's when you'll be out. Oh, you see, Bible teachings become... Hmm? I know. Any questions? <laughs> I know. No, some me teach you. me teach you. Sometimes, no, I feel it. I feel it. I come. I came back from work around five thirty. I have to do one or two things, prepare and come. A B A Sanka, Sanka. And yet, me na mbabi lidia. Anka mis me balit on. They said they will buy na. And yet, me na mbabi lidia. Anka me balit. I'm sure I should be a number so. I'm sure I'm not meeting you so I know my dad to say they didn't want day. Yeah, they are changed too. Nini na no, when I'm coupon she. When I'm coupon she, nini na no. So, ABR, you in your mind, you think, say, this person does not deserve a particular blessing. But nini na me jama no. Then you are asking yourself question. I didn't think nini na me shila, when I'm doing shila, I didn't. Also, what dream will come and your papa? Then see how Ben is now. say, "Oh, train and that in the middle is that the mummy no na me chile say me sumi oho." I come and enye, I dream enye. Hey, say, when put the car, say, say, what I say? That or no, na me be chile no, no chile or boss with no amount two hundred Ghana. So I dream with him. I go boss with no amount two hundred Ghana. The bayer Danish Rebeba. Everybody, eh? Eh? 
what Jesus Christ Demonti. Amen. Oh, question and our contribution be we can bring it up. Any question? Okay, take out your offering. Take out your offering. Radio that was a giant summer for the bow in Shira, so am I. Domie, Naboy, Sika Femo, Una Femo, our Jesus Christ, Demotti. Amen.